Hi, welcome back to The Messenger. i tell you what happened in the last episode, but I don't even have words to describe what happened in the last episode. And how, uh, frankly a little ashamed I am of myself for, uh, the last episode and how, uh, poorly- Oh my god, already we're starting how poorly that went. And I- oop, going the wrong way. Good start. Good start. So, yeah, I, uh, was not really, uh, I don't even know what word I can use to, like, properly, you know, owe myself. Here is the stupid, uh, passageway you have to go through to find this power seal. Uh, this is the hard part. Say. I'm just so disappointed in myself just because of how many times I pass by that rock. Or that bolt, or block, whatever you want to call it. And just did not ever once think, like, oh, this one is, this one looks a little different from the rest. Surely this must be the thing. And it was the thing. Uh, whatever. Whatever. At least I'm already in Howling Grile. So I can... That's not what I want. So, remember this? We have to go back to, uh... I don't know, we have to go back to the past first. We have to go back to, uh... That maze lake area. Because it's a seashell, so of course we have to go back to, uh, the other water area. Oh, maybe I don't have to go back to the past. I just need to pay attention! Pay attention to my surroundings for once! I don't know what's been going on with me with some of these episodes. Some of these episodes are just, uh, bad. I guess I kind of predicted this because, like, Metroidvanias are not really the thing I normally play. So I'm a lot less used to them compared to, like, plenty of other games. But, like, that's bad even for me. And I really don't have much of an excuse because I already like uh, cause I already beat this game before, so I should so I should like know a bit more than uh, I probably have been laying on that I know. But like yeah, that last episode was uh bad to say the least. I don't know why. That was just uh I was just not on my game to say the least. Now we have the, uh, I forgot what the item was called. Magic Seashell. Had a lot of trouble pronouncing that stupid word for some reason in the last episode. Now the path will, uh, be designated with, uh, sparkles. And with sparkles, but also once you get, like, close to them, you can kind of, like, hear... Yeah, you can't make it out if you, like, with, uh, your hearing, if you can, but if you're deaf, obviously that won't work. If you're deaf, you probably can't hear me saying this unless someone goes and adds subtitles to this later. Because I don't do that, because I'm lazy like that. But yeah, this was a... Th but yeah, so yeah. It didn't use... There didn't used to be sparkles. It was just literally you had to listen to it. So, uh, that did kind of alienate deaf players who already kind of miss out far too much of this game as is. All things considered, so, uh, 
sparkles were added to uh, kind of show you where the correct path is. Though, if you do know the path by heart, or if you already know the path, you could just take it without using the magic seashell because that actually remains stag throughout all. Uh, it actually remains stag. That's what I'm saying. Now, for something completely different. This is a new area. And here's the boil of this place because for some reason I totally forgot that, uh, this place, that place had a boil. That may or may not be the only new place, and that may or may not be the only portal to a new area. The implication should probably be obvious, but eh, whatever. Welcome to the Sunken Shrine. Let's just explore this area for now. See what uh, we can find. This place is a little bit more open ended, sort of, so definitely want to refer to your map. Can I go down here? Uh, we can't make it through that. Huh. Alright, let's check out the other area. Other area. Be sure you know how to, uh, say word. Wait, what? Oh yeah, no, here we go. Also, let's talk to our shop buddy, shopkeeper buddy. Since now, new area, which means new chat options. This looks ancient. I right, I'm not supposed to be reading. What were you in like Atlantis or something? I mean, who becomes a god? Mm, mm, mm. It's all under the sea. Under the sea. Okay, please no. I have music notes somewhere in here, so yeah, we need to be here. Or, oh yeah, the only upgrade left is this one. That's a very interesting one. So I do want that. What was the prophecy here? Oh, it doesn't show the prophecy because this place isn't... That's weird. Bah, whatever. Nagas! So certainly look like Nagas as a uh, SMT player. Uh, how far does that go? Okay, not far enough. Oh. Probably the close. Probably one of the closest things we're getting to an underwater level. I totally thought you were gonna jump. Instead, I just ran into you like a fool because that's a thing I've been doing a lot. Not time that quick for oh now. Yeah, to kind of oh god no, kind of like make things a bit more interesting. Yeah, no, the messenger will totally throw new areas at you now. You're not just going to be exploring like all the old stomping grounds. Of course, new areas mean new challenges, especially challenges that kind of take a bit more advantage of the whole, uh, being able to swap between past and future, which is going to be a, uh, regular thing now. Not to say the other areas don't try to take advantage of that, your new power set, but, well, you'll see. I know I'm supposed to get a certain thing. Okay, yeah, no, you're just a save point before, uh, something else. This kind of looks like a, uh... Oh my god. Oh, 
Come on. We can go a little faster. Welcome to, uh, from the spike zone, I guess. Also nice, I totally was not even paying attention to, uh, power seals, so that's good. I just found that. Uh, should I go back out here in the future? I'll probably be fine. Oh my god, this is gonna... Oh boy. Wow, this is probably gonna be the whole episode, which is fine, honestly. That wasn't fine. Great, now I, whatever, I can be a little bit more reckless now. Ugh. Not that reckless, though. Nope, that totally does not actually count as an actual attack, so it will not help against fireballs. Do not eat the fireballs. They are not delicious. God, that make God, I can't believe that. I guess that's the one upshot to uh, that episode that I figured out that very useful skill. It only took me, uh... Nope, that was bad. That was bad. This is already bad. It only took me, uh, kind of being completely off the ball elsewhere to, uh, figure out that... Oh my god, really? You... Come on! What kind of shot is that? I mean, really, you're showing me through the wall. Oh, well, hello. Lightfoot Tabby. There are new upgrades to find. Now run on liquid surfaces by holding ZR. Make sure you keep moving. So yeah, you can uh, run on water like a true ninja now. As long as you keep moving. If you don't move, uh, you kind of fall. And you'll probably fall into those spikes there, or whatever is, uh, your current concern. Alright. So now you can run out of water. I'm sure this is an upgrade that will totally keep coming in handy and never be forgotten about for the most part. No, that was a bad. Oh, I should- oh, right, I should be using the light for Tabby, what am I doing? Okay, good. That was a very lucky break. I don't feel like doing- oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, and unfortunately, one kind of problem with the light for Tabby is that, like, if you try to turn around, it will probably read as a, uh, stop, or at least a very- Yeah, it will probably, like, wind up counting as a stop, and it will, like, drop you into, uh, the spikes or what have you. They definitely make good use of the life with Tabby in this area, that's for sure. I mean, really, you could just keep ZR held, like... You can just take the ZR button down at this point since there's I don't think there's really much of a reason to uh, disengage the life with Tabby and even if you did want to stop using it, it's literally just a simple matter of uh stop hold just don't move. There, yeah, there's a power seal down there. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see what horrors await. So yeah, if you uh, so, yeah, if you want to like stop or turn around in uh areas like this but you don't want to like drop into the water to get used to uh jumping i don't really need to uh walk on water here
worked out. Much easier way to deal with him. Ow. Good job, me. Good job, Monty. change like this between time periods. Eh. Not really important. Ah, oh, that was a bad... Oh, that's real bad. These things are annoying. I remember them being, like, one of the worst. I remember them, like, giving me a lot of crap when I, uh, went through the game for the first time. Crest. Maybe it has something to do with the locked door with two sockets. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's uh, here's your first key, but unfortunately, one key is out, not up. One key is never enough. Make sure you got a handle on that light foot tabby now. Hmm, that's not, uh... Ow. Jerk. Try to stop. Fortunately, there isn't a uh, very easy way to uh, stop once you're going. Inertia is a cow cruel mistress. Part we have to write on this. Ugh. Let's not uh, go ourselves into spikes at this late junction. Ah! Jerk! Where? It's like right here, but to the left. Ugh. Okay, let's stay safe. Let's play the safe route. As much as I don't like it, I kind of have to learn to uh, play safe sometimes. I have to really learn with uh, Icy. It's, uh... Wait, hold on. Oh, there we go. Man, I have to learn with Icy, because, uh... Icy does not... Wait, no. What am I doing? I'll go back if I need to. I'll cut it out if I have to. And then I'll just be angry at myself for missing something so dead obvious again. Oh no, it's just as simple as this. Just make that a little bit easier and less stressful on me. Get out, Naga. Go back to SMT. Where's SMT 5? Tell me, Naga. Seriously, what in the world's going on with SMT 5? <laughs> you 
Yeah, another game battles just revealed way too early. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like the last game that they revealed like way too early. The funny thing about that is that could mean a lot of different games because they kind of have a bad tendency to do that. Honestly. Of course, the last time I was on Nintendo console, I did not like the results. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I don't know. I, I have problems with that game. I have some major issues with that game. I have a lot of issues with the way uh, Alice has been handling the Nintendo consoles lately. Maybe I'm just still salty about, uh... Maybe I'm just still salty about, like, how they handled Q2 and how, uh... Etrian Odyssey Nexus didn't even get, like, a, uh, English dub. Which is, which I am actually really sad about because I actually did remember liking the, uh, the localization and the English dub for uh, Etrian Odyssey 5. Also, hi, I'm just going to, ow, forgot about my whole thing already. Also, hi, I'm just going to talk about Etrian Odyssey and my, uh, LP of the Messenger. I mean, at least that I'm probably never going to be able to actually do an LP of myself considering the whole, uh, handheld thing. First of all, let's kill you jerks. I don't want you around. Fun crest. The moon and the sun. We took the moon and we took the moon and we took the moon. Maybe there's a sun somewhere in there. I just wanted to make that dumb joke because I don't know what. <laughs> That's all I can do for cow commentary. Then just say ow at wildly inappropriate times just because I got hit in game. I'm, I'm very good at commenting, as I've already pointed out in IC numerous times. What, what kind of boss you think is waiting back there? kind of screwed. So it's kind of, uh, wrecked. Some would say that. Maybe we're gods. Maybe we're not. We're just going to shrug as all gods do. Maybe I'm just very biased because I'm an SMT player and not just a personal player. Cannot comprehend the true scope of the backstory. We'll be watching over you. This is all we can do. I guess I can't really complain about that. Yeah, no boss to be fought here. Got the key of love. Bleh. No boss here. I'm sure any other area will be just the same and not have a boss and will be a smooth ride. I don't remember this being a smooth ride when I uh, went through this the first time. <laughs> Is there, an, is there an upper area up there? Is there an upper area up there? 
there is. I didn't notice that. I'm gonna have to check real quick. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about. Oh. Yeah, I totally kind of forgot about that area already. Let me see if there's. Yeah, there's just a nice, easy get to it, like individual point. That was a bad. Oh my god, that was a bad. I did not mean to point that wall. Really? Get out! Get out, Naga! Wait. Oh, it's up the waterfall. Someone sent that to, uh, behind the water. Doesn't that even count? It's really more like up the waterfall. Whatever. The game doesn't have any pettable dogs, as far as I remember, so this is kind of the messenger's only shot getting featured in a positive way in, from that guy. Like, I just have to single out that guy just because, ow. Just because I don't actually remember his uh, handle or anything like that. I'm just gonna eat this hit here. I don't feel like going through, uh, wasting time. Yeah, I got to really eat the hit now since I got more health and, uh, the extra defense. I don't know why it took me a while to remember that. Don't worry, I'll just hide it. I'll just have future Manji hide that stupid, embarrassing little factoid. Oh, what? There's another... That's probably just another crystal. In all honesty, that's probably just another crystal. Because I already got all the power seals here, and in all honesty, I don't care at this point. Because so. I already got 2,000... I already got 2,000 chime shards, which means... That for me, have purchased the last upgrade. Demon's Bane. This kind of will change the way you play the game. Sort of. It's un it's normally, the way I normally go through this is I just kind of run around and mash the attack button when I want to deal with something, but now... Demon's Bane kind of incentivizes not running in and randomly mashing. So now, it'll actually like power you up when you like kind of wait. You'll see. You'll see. Alright, so where else do we need to go? Can't really do much about Forlorn Temple. Can't really do much about the cave. Not gonna bother with the, not gonna bother with that. Done with Howling Grotto. Definitely done with Trunken Shrine. So really it's Cloud Ruins, Glacial Peak, Searing Crags, and Underworld. That in the uh, Forlorn Temple, and I'm sure that's all that's left. I'm sure I did not already imply that there would be more areas. Let's have Searing Crags again. I kind of blazed through this area in the previous episode, so now we're gonna take our time and explore the place, especially since there's some uh, very pertinent things here. Didn't even really blaze through it so much as I. Uh, just kind of ignored it. Portal. Let me see if I can go through here with the future as much as possible. Yeah. We're already like close. Ah! Yeah, so that guy normally takes three hits, but because we have Demon's Bane, which triples our attack, that means those guys, as long as I don't, like, mash the attack button randomly, now go down one hit, just like everything else. I totally already missed the, uh, thing. Ah! Let's not do that again to like the show now, but yeah, it also works on blocks. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Good enough, good enough. Oh. Oh. I don't even remember this room. I'm 
which probably means I did much of the same thing. Ah, oh, no. Ah. Do those come back eventually? I probably have to off-screen them. Yeah, this is, easy. this is easier. So before I explore the rest of Searing Crags, let's go visit our two buddies. Not the shopkeeper, but I want to see. I don't think he has anything. To... Yeah, no, he never has anything to say. Oh, but wait, there is one other thing I want to see. Look we'll at is that a sink? Yes, obviously. Why would an arcane shop have a sink? Because it has magic properties, of course. Behold. The money sink. The money sink? Yeah, I don't know. People kept complaining about how there were any ways to spend time shards when we had all the upgrades, and that we needed to fix this with a money sink. We quite literally did that. Okay, how does it work? At the moment, it doesn't. Adventurers threw too many time shards into the drain, and it's now clogged. Is there any way to unclog it? Not really. Well, maybe if you had a money wrench. A money wrench? How can I find one? I'm yeah, looking for it. So oh, there's a money sink in here. That's weird and quirky. Let's ignore it. Hey, buddy. Aww. They totally sat here and waited for their power thistle to grow to add to their stew. They literally starved next to a pot of ready food because they wanted their thistle. I never prevent two dumb brothers from waiting to death. Also, here's a rope to, uh, you know, up to the Glacial Peak. I don't know why that took me a while to figure out. So let's save our two, uh, Cyclops buddies. Oops. Just wait on that one. Can you find a place to, uh, switch the pass? Invest. This one, this nice, easy, mean area. Yeah, you're gonna notice me, uh, spamming the attack a lot less just because I do want Demon's Bane whenever I can get it because it is good. Hey guys! How's it going? Thanks for the help before. Let me repay the favor. Oh, I'm not gonna get to you know, I'm still not gonna read. Save my save future mind you have some editing. I guess you're gonna get a little bit after all. Even eats the thing with his feet. Oh no. Oh no no no. No! No! Convenient. Do you have anything to say about the fact that I just, uh, got. Nope, nothing to say about the fact that I just got smacked. How far? Actually, not as far as I thought, but still. My way up. Ow. Mountain. But. We're gonna have to find our way back down now. Now with Demon's Bane, these blocks are a lot easier to deal with. Definitely a lot less of a nuisance than nothing else. Deal with that. 
there's a... There's a down here? I guess there was. Oh my god, I... Stop paying attention to, uh... The rock. Hey! I can't think of it. Oh wait, this looks like... What? over here. Don't worry about the fact that I just said that while uh, using what was, this, what was probably reminiscent of a kunai on a rope. Oh hey, look at this. Hungry Britannus who are too patient for their own good. Need the help for this music note. Of strength. Of course, we got the key of strength from uh, Coles and Suzus's help. Nothing else to see around here. Let's just explore the uh, let's explore the rest of Searing Crags. There's like one down there we need to get. Ah! Uh, this is a little bit awkward. to get that probably have to get there from the future somehow huh I don't even think I can no because that's where it just came from there's definitely no way to uh wow what's going on yeah now let's just go down my way down. And hopefully not drop herself into the pit because that is a thing I can do. Ugh. Can't believe that this is the place I died in. It's uh, a little humiliating to think about now. Not, not great. Not really all that great. Thankfully, these stages are, very, for the most part, very well designed for uh, going backwards and backtracking. That's uh, kind of a good hint that if you somehow did not, like, ingest any, like, bit of uh, marketing or anything, or see anything regarding Messenger, that's kind of a good hint that, like, uh, this does kind of turn into a Metroidvania. It doesn't just, at the very least, it doesn't just stay a simple platformer. Yeah, Demon Spain is definitely a very good skill. It takes a lot. It takes, like... I wouldn't say that, like, Messenger is a tedious game, but, like, the few things it, few things I would say is, like, somewhat tedious, it definitely helps to, uh, alleviate that. Ah, so much for that plan. I'm not even going to worry about it. That, whatever. I'm just going to eat the that one. Got a little too impatient for my own good. Also, I totally just realized that it looked like I totally was not even on the screen. Because <laughs> of the invincibility frames and the blinking. Uh, that's great. Nothing else to see down here. Actually, that's it for, uh, power seals here. Because we're definitely not done here, not by a long shot. Oh god, who put that there? Don't really care about the time shards right now.
Uh, try to climb back up to the top, actually. Ah, couldn't really do anything about that. Ah! Get out! You're no ninja guy then, bird. Oh wow, what am I... What am I doing? Yeah, that crystal will actually open up now that uh, we're in the future. I mean, there's no... I was about to make a joke about how there's like no uh, jet cars or anything like that. Nah, not until the... Uh... What was it in... What was it in the Jet City? Magnificent far off year of 2002, I believe it was. And then I totally missed the crystal. Whatever, it's not really my biggest concern right now. Especially not at this point. Started. So now, yeah, they're gone. They're not even here, but at least they're not just a couple of skeletons sitting on the ground anymore. Of course, the flower bed's still here. Which means. Which means we can, pla which means we can plant the uh, astral leaves here. Long time for anything growing there. I don't have a long time. Really, we have all the time in the world, but I'd like to get this sooner rather than later. And Jailer should know what to do with these. Well, there is one other thing to uh, check out. I have a feeling I know what that's going to be, but eh. Oh, good job walking straight into that guy. Whoa, hello! Hmm. But, there's one of those little Bulbakins. This is lava. There's a lava pool? The lava pool's just form like that? Isn't lava liquid? Our ninja can walk on lava. The ninja can walk on lava. That... Okay, by the way, hi Pyro. How'd you get so close to the underworld you can't see on fire? Oh, the irony, right? This is, uh... Just... I'm not even going to question how you guys get here anymore. Ninja can walk on lava. D how? How? Ugh. It's a little... Down, down. Yep, lava is insta-kill. Good job. Oh my god, I got kicked all the way back here? They not hit the- Hold on. Hold on. Did 
So yeah, Ninja can walk on lava because that apparently counts as a, uh... What exactly was it that they just said? I'm li that counts as a liquid surface. I mean, I guess. I feel like that, like... I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of questions to be, uh... Leap. I feel like there's a lot of questions with that. But yeah, this is how we, uh... Head down to the underworld. Of course, there's a few other things we could be doing, too. Oh, hey, it's the, uh... This is, like, technically one of the first songs, really, that we heard. Back during the demon invasion, remember? Good times. Good times. Now, we've got quite a few avenues to explore. We're going to take a look and see what we can find on the next episode of The Messenger. See you then!